So let me introduce to you our special guest for the day. He is a Singaporean novelist born to an established Chinese family. His debut novel, Crazy Rich Asians, was published in 2013 and follows three rich and pedigreed Chinese families. It was an international bestseller and was followed by two more books, China Rich Girlfriend in 2015 and Rich People Problems in 2017. The first book is currently being adapted into film by director John M. Chu. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome author Kevin Kwan. Good afternoon, Kevin. Great to meet you too. Hello. Hello. So how has your time in Cebu been so far? <laughs> I just arrived like 45 minutes ago. Straight to work. So, <laughs> straight to work. It's, it's great to be here at this beautiful mall in Cebu. And Cebu looks so beautiful. So. I hope you have more time to enjoy your beaches this evening. I hope so too. <laughs> Kevin, I have to confess I am such a big fan. Um, so I would like to open the floor for questions from our friends from the media. I'm sure all of you are very excited to ask Oi. <laughs> Anyone like to start? We're also limiting the questions to one per person because we know Kevin's time is very precious. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Hello, how are you? What inspired you to create such diverse characters in the novel? You know, I, I never thought of them as diverse. You know, I think when I first began writing it, I was really really trying to write from a place of memory and inspiration and truth. And a lot of it is inspired by my childhood in Singapore. So naturally there would be a lot of Singaporeans. But because my family was also very international, you know, a lot of my relatives moved to Hong Kong, moved to Thailand, moved to Australia. Um, I got a chance to travel to those places and then meet other family, all, you know, so everyone's all over Asia and all over the world, um, but they tend to be Asian. So I guess in that way, it was a natural diversity that happened. I mean, you know, there are a lot of stories that are inspired by things I've witnessed and stories I've heard about my family over the years, you know, but it's, it's not, there's not one story that's all about my life, not at all. You know, the first novel, the way I actually began writing it, they were really a collection of short stories. You know, I would, I would write, one day I would write one short story about Eleanor Young, for example, Nicholas Young's mother, and, and the next day I would say, oh, let's write a story about Astrid Young, you know, who is a cousin of the family. So, they just were a collection of stories and memories. Um, so, nothing is really based on fact, per se. You know, they're stories stitched together, um, inspired by things I, I remember from my childhood. Not necessarily that happened to me, but a lot of it was inspired by true events that happened to other people, other families, people I heard about, things like that. So a lot of the stories, especially for Singaporeans, are very recognizable because there are a lot of famous sort of family scandals and things like that that so everyone knows I'm gonna, about. I'm going to go on Wikipedia and research it. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, so for Singaporeans, it wasn't really a surprise. It was almost like a tribute to all the drama <laughs> and melodrama that's ensued. society scandal. Exactly, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Everyone, if you're taking photos today, please don't forget to post them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can tag National Bookstore at, at NBS Alert. And please don't forget to use the hashtag Kevin Kwan and Sue.